Hello guys, today we are going to find out how to find the new coordinates if the x and y axis are rotated through an angle of theta. So what it means is that if you have you, you have the x axis x dash o x and y axis y dash o y then if you rotate this x and y axis through an angle of theta in the anti-clockwise direction. So like suppose this was your old x axis and if you rotate it by an angle of theta in the anti clockwise direction then this line this line will be your new x axis and in the same way if this was your old y axis if you rotate it by an angle of theta this will be your old sorry new y axis and any new x axis is o capital x and new y axis is o capital y so 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 for that so we are interested in finding what happens to, to the new coordinates so, or, or what is the relationship between the old coordinate and the new coordinate okay so let us suppose for that let us suppose a point p and it has got the all its all coordinates are x comma y okay so all the point p has all coordinates x comma y this is your old coordinates and then we are interested in finding the new the new coordinates which will be our capital X and capital Y. This is your new. Okay. Now from the figure, what I have done is I have I have drawn a perpendicular from the point P to the OX axis, and I have labeled the point as L. In in the same way, I have drawn the perpendicular from here to here and labeled N. And finally, I have I don't the perpendicular parallel to parallel to the x-axis here to here and label the point as q and sorry one more thing okay when we have rotated the x-axis our new axis was found to be here and similarly the y-axis here and and see our the old point was here so this was this was our line if you rotate it anti-clockwise then this angle will again be theta because this will again be rotated through an angle of theta okay so this angle will also be theta so now we can see from the figure easily that ol is equal to x okay ol equal to small x we can see from figure lp is equal to y lp is equal to small y and om equal to capital x and mp is equal to capital y Okay, see, so our new axis is this and this. So we will see from here. So this one will be your x. Okay, so let me label it. This one be your x, and this one be your capital Y. So that is the same thing that I have written here. Okay. So now we can see clearly see that x will be O n minus L n. See x will be this length minus this length okay now <clears throat> now see okay in triangle o and m we can see, see that now it is o n so we, we have got no use of o n we must write it uh, we must write o n in, in terms of our capital x okay so for that we will use the trigonometric ratio now we can use sine or cos if you will use sine it will be sine this over this but we, we don't we, we don't use sorry we don't want that so we will use cos cos theta will be o n by o m which is x so we will use that cos theta will be o n over x so from here our o n will become x into cos cos theta so in, in the same way we have to write ln in terms of something which we can use now ln if we if you will see in the figure ln is here and now ln is same as the length of qm so we can write qm here in place of this now qm falls in the triangle pqm okay so 
we have this length now we want um, this length in terms of y so, so for that we can use either cos or sin but see if you will use cos here it will be this over this so, but we don't want this we want this this distance we want in terms of y so we will use sin this time not cos sin theta will be this over, over this okay so in triangle pqm sin theta will be qm over y so from here qm will be equal to y sin theta okay so we have got these terms so we will put those here we will get x equal to x cos theta minus qm which is y sin theta so okay this is the first relation which we have got so in the same way our y we can see, see from the figure it will be y is equal to pq plus ql okay y is equal to pq plus ql so y is equal to pq plus ql in terms of in place of ql we can write nm because we will get no use of ql because it doesn't fall in any triangle but nm does fall in, in triangle o nm so that's why i'm replacing ql with nm so in the same way like, like i did above we can choose different triangles and we can uh, see that our pq comes out to be pm cos theta sorry y equal to it comes out to be y cos theta and in the, in the same fashion nm comes out to be x sin theta so th we have got our second equation okay so now our two equations are which we have just got x cos theta minus y sin theta and y is equal to y cos theta plus x sin theta so now but these are the our small our old coordinates in terms of the new coordinates but we we want but we don't want that we want we want the equation that give give us directly the new coordinates in terms of old coordinates so for that we can easily um, label them equation 1 and 2 and we can easily we can solve these are equations equation in two variables so we, we can easily find okay i'm i'm not going to do that here the calculation the calculation you do it by yourself okay so in the final you will get x equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta and y will be y cos theta minus x sin theta so these are are you these are your two equations with the help of which you will find your new coordinates if if your coordinate system is uh, rotated through angle of theta in the anti clockwise direction so okay you have to, you have to remember the these two equations so so ha so, so lastly we have got the we, we have got our equations so, so let us let me give you a question based on it so you can get the gist of it like how to solve any problem okay so uh, our problem is if the axis b turned an angle tan inverse to what what does the equation 4xy minus 3x square equal to a square become okay so now for solving the, uh, for solving this uh, this question first of all just just do what you have what you have given like this your angle is tan inverse 2 so from here we can just write tan theta equal to 2 now we can clearly uh, we can find easily since we have given tan we can find out cos and cos and sin theta uh, how it is very simple it is theta okay so it is 2 over 1 it means it will be 
टू इच इट विल वन देन बाय द पायथोक्रिस थ्रम इट विल बी रूट थ्री सो अवर कॉस्ट थीटा विल बी एंड पी एस ओवर हाइपिटोनियस सॉरी दिस विल बी रूट फाइव ओके सो इट विल बी वन ओवर रूट फाइव एंड साइन थीटा विल बी टू ओवर रूट फाइव ओके नाउ सो दीज आर योर एक्स स्मॉल एक्स एंड स्मॉल वाई यू हैव टू राइट दीज इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्मॉल सॉरी कैपिटल एक्स एंड कैपिटल वाई ओके सो सिंस वी कैन सी फ्रॉम अब अब इक्वेशन अब एक्स वॉज एक्स कॉस थीटा माइनस वाई साइन थीटा एंड अवर वाई स्मॉल वाई वॉज इक्वल टू वाई कॉस थीटा प्लस एक्स साइन थीटा ओके सो सिंस नाउ वी हैव गॉट द कॉस थीटा एंड साइन थीटा वी कैन सेपरेट टू दो डाउन हेयर सो इट विल बी एक्स टाइम्स रूट फाइव माइनस वाई इंटू टू ओवर रूट फाइव इट विल बी रूट फाइव एक्स माइनस टू वाई सो दिस विल बी अवर स्मॉल एक्स इन दिस सेम वे स्मॉल वाई विल बी टू एक्स प्लस वाई ओवर रूट फाइव ओके नाउ वी हैव टू जस्ट डू जस्ट वन थिंग हेयर इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स स्मॉल एक्स एंड स्मॉल वाई वी हैव टू सेप्टीट्यूड दीज टू वैल्यूज एंड यू वी विल फाइनली गेट अवर आंसर इन टर्म्स ऑफ द न्यू एक्स एंड वाई एक्सेस सो फोर अवर स्मॉल एक्स इज एक्स माइनस टू वाई ओवर रूट फाइव देन वाई वाई इज टू एक्स प्लस वाई ओवर रूट फाइव माइनस थ्री इट इज एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर मीन्स एक्स माइनस टू वाई ओवर रूट फाइव स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर नाउ दिस इज वेरी आफ्टर डेट यू कैन इजली सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन ओके आई एम नॉट गन डू डेट बिकॉज इट विल टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो आई एम राइटिंग डायरेक्टली राइटिंग द फाइनल आंसर विच इज इट विल कम आउट टू बी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर सो ओके सो दिस इज योर न्यू इक्वेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर न्यू कॉर्डिनेट्स एक्स कैपिटल एक्स एंड कैपिटल वाई इफ योर द कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम इज हारोटेटेड थ्रू एन एंगल ऑफ थ्रू एन एंगल ऑफ टेन यूनिवर्स ऑफ टू ओके सो दिस इज योर फाइनल आंसर सो सो दैट्स इट फॉर द वीडियो वाइज सो थैंक यू बाय बाय